after all we have been through. That was some bloodshed, right? And quickly ruthless. Yeah, sure. For some of us. Huh. So how has the aftermath of war been treating you so far? I can't complain. Good for you. How about you? All good. I just wish we could have killed Mon Aboru. Well, maybe next time. My thoughts exactly. Hell, let's drink on that. What's your poison? Or maybe you need the strong stuff again. Something sharpy and pointy. Sharp and pointy things? So this is both an inn and an armory. You brought some surplus from your armory at the monastery, or what? <laughs> Not at all, my dear prospective customer. The previous owner was an elite royal guard. He surely won't be leading his fancy equipment now. So I can pass it on. While making a decent profit, I am sure. Well, we have a history of you appreciating my selection of weapons, so I would much rather sell them to you than to our brothers. Are you saying brothers would not appreciate good weapons? Well, they would appreciate the weapons, but surely not the price. With the revolution, the concept of personal property got a bit hazy. There's a lot of needs to be fulfilled and not many abilities. We are all equal now. We all share great times for our kin. And terrible times for business. So I'd rather do it with you. Well, if the contraband is worth the hassle, I'm happy to do this under the counter. Show me what you've got. So, you're an innkeeper now? Yes. Not exactly my dream heroic future, but it has its perks. There is good money to be made trading the spoils of war. And you wouldn't believe all the nonsense our brattlers can make up. Humor me. The last one was extremely rich. Peace talks with Daboru. No racking of sound mind could imagine drop and peace with Naboru in the same sentence. That's why he is the general. To get us our revenge. So you say the peace talks aren't gonna happen? No. We deserve to run this place, damn it. We are bigger, stronger, and healthier than Naboru. One could argue we are the superior race here. Oh, I wouldn't dare to argue. If anybody comes with such an insane idea as peace talks, he will claw his eyes out. I see. You do. They won't. <laughs>